Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, beautiful people of the world. It's me, Lainey, and I hope you're having a fantasmical day. Today we are doing a, well, a very long video, so strap yourselves in and get ready, because it's about to be a lot of me rambling. That's what it is. It's going to be a lot of me rambling. Um, so, basically, around the beginning of August... There was this ABC fan art trend that was kind of going around, and I'm like, hey, you know what would be fun? If I participated. Um, it took me months to finish because of a lot of procrastination and slowly working on things. But, you know, it's fine. Um, I was doing it daily up until around my birthday, so for the first, like... Uh, around eight days I did it daily and then for my birthday I finished like the whole second row and then I did it like a row at a time update uh, but it took me like a month to complete each row which yeah, probably shouldn't have been the case but you know it's fine but you know it's already over a minute into this video and I haven't even explained really what this whole premise is um so basically there's the alphabet you know a b c to z um you know, the alphabet. And for every letter of the alphabet, you need to draw a character that begins with that letter. Simple, yes, very simple, very easy. Uh, I wanted to draw all girls, and I wanted to try to get like a bunch of different kinds. Well, I don't want to say a bunch of different kinds of girls, but just like pull from all different sorts of sources. So I've got things from animated shows, I've got characters I used to love in my childhood, I've got characters I love now, I've got characters from anime, I've even got some characters who I don't even really know very well. But I'm gonna first start by going through the list. So the first girl that we have is Anastasia from the movie Anastasia, um, the cartoon version. I was going to draw more from the the musical version because I've really been in love with the musical but I guess I wouldn't love the pro musical as much probably if I didn't love the movie as much as I do because I do love the movie. Uh, the musical, by the way, is really good except they did get rid of my favourite character and my favourite song um, but I still love it. Uh, the second one is Barbie, and there was a lot of different Barbies I could have drawn, but I decided to go with the Barbie from the Barbie Life in the Dream House slash, like, the vlogs. Uh, if you didn't know, Barbie has a YouTube channel where there's, there's, like, an animated Barbie who, you know, just talks about, like, empowering women and all stuff like that, all, go all that good stuff we love to hear. Um, it's also the same Barbie that's in the Life of in the Dreamhouse series, which I did end up watching for myself a little while ago. I enjoyed it. It was, you know, it wasn't like revolutionary. It is a kid's show, but I really did enjoy it. Uh, C, we have Candace Flynn from Phineas and Ferb. Now, I love Phineas and Ferb. I've always loved Phineas and Ferb. I think I'm gonna always love Phineas and Ferb, you know? Like, that's, that's the sort of energy there is. It's, uh, it's a good time. Um, I've always loved Phineas and Ferb, but we're already on D. Uh, for D, we've got Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz. Uh, The Wizard of Oz is just a classic, and she was the first character I thought of, and then I'm like, I don't think there's any character I want to draw more for this. Um, she's also one of the only characters that's in, like, complete view. Most of them are from, like, the knees up, um... But that's just because of space. But I really wanted to get those ruby slippers in because I feel like they're very important. I also added, you know, little Toto because I feel like that's just how it is. That how it be. Um, I don't know how accurate she was to, like, the movie version because, you know, accuracy is definitely not something I'm good at. But I think she turned out pretty good. I really like it. Um... Yeah, Wizard of Oz is a great movie, and I think I love Wicked as well. Probably more than The Wizard of Oz, if I'm being entirely honest. Um, you know, it's just The Wizard of Oz is good, but Wicked, oh my god, it's so amazing. Also, one thing I'm really proud of myself is I actually did a background for every single one of these characters. They're not like, you know, 
super detailed. Some are way more detailed than others. Some are just uh, like single colors or just gradients. But I really wanted to try to push myself to do like a different background for every single one. There are a lot of skies though, so it's fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, here we have Elle Woods from Legally Blonde. This time I did go with the musical version because as much as I do love the movie and I do love the movie, I love the musical more. Yeah, uh, that's, that's just it. They wear basically the same outfit in both the movie and the musical, so I was fine. This is like the power scene like at the end where she's like, you know, all lawyered up. Um, if you've never watched Legally Blonde, I do recommend it. It is, it's a fun movie, I think. I mean, it's not for everybody, and I know it's not for everybody, but I think it's a, it's a lot of fun. Uh, this is probably one of the backgrounds I struggled with the most, because I just had no idea what I wanted to do. Um, because I know I didn't want to draw, like, a full courtroom, because I wanted to keep things colourful, but it's fine. Uh, here we have Fiona from Shrek, because obviously, um, I wanted to try to draw all different sorts of characters, and the first five days I just drew a bunch of, you know, stereotypically fairly pretty white women, um, and now I'm gonna draw an ogre lady. I mean, to be fair, in her human form, she is a stereotypical pretty white lady, she is a princess, but hey, you know, ogre Fiona is badass, and you can't tell me any different. Um... I don't know why, but I couldn't find, like, the best references for this character, and I don't really know why, um, but that's fine. It's all fine. It's good. I think she turned out probably one of the best. I feel like because of just how green this particular square is, it really stands out on the page. Um, just, it just simply does. And... I've never drawn Fiona before, and I love Fiona. Like, who doesn't? Shrek is an iconic movie. It is just so good. Um, you know, I don't like the third one, but who does? Uh, but I do like the fourth one. Apparently there's going to be a fifth one. I don't know. It's all a mystery to me. It's all pure nonsense. Um, <laughs> but hey, you know... Can you believe that next year Shrek is going to be 20 years old? Yeah, I want you to think about it. It came out in 2001. Um, yeah. I really struggled with this background in the beginning. I just knew I wanted it to be green. Also, I went back a little bit later and I edited a bunch of the backgrounds, like, off, off camera. Like, when I wasn't recording. Like, I probably spent just as much time away like not recording as I did actually recording uh this is Ginny by the way Ginny Weasley uh my favorite Weasley <laughs> just kidding I do love all of the Weasleys equally um I wanted to draw one character from Harry Potter I was gonna draw Hermione but then I'm like mm, I don't really want to so I didn't uh, I ended up drawing Ginny because, like, I don't know, I thought maybe drawing Luna, and then I'm like, oh, I don't want to draw Luna, and then I'm like, none of the other girls really, like, stand out too much to me, but I really like Ginny. Um, I've also been reading the books, the Harry Potter books, kind of lately, just like this year, I wanted to try to get through all of the books, and I don't know, I think Ginny is a lot better in the books than she just is, you know, in general. Um in like other ways what am I saying why are words so hard <laughs> uh, but it's fine you know it's good um the next character we have is uh Hinata from Naruto I decided to go with an older version of Hinata even though I haven't actually seen that far ahead into the series I've only watched Naruto like the Naruto Naruto what? Anyway, <laughs> I've only seen like the original series, um, and I've only seen like the first maybe 50 episodes of Shippuden. Um, I'm not a huge fan of like just that specific genre that Naruto is, just uh, you know, the typical fighting shonen adventure. Um, I do like 
some of them. Like, I do like Naruto. I just, I find it very hard to just sit down and just watch. Um, it's just, it's a lot. It's a lot of effort to just sit down and watch. Uh, I really like how this one came out, actually. Like, out of all of... Well, I don't want to say out of all of them, but... Out of all of the, like, anime characters that I drew, I think I drew four, five, how many did I do? One, like, five. Um, she's, like, probably one of the least standout-ish ones. But, I don't know, Hinata's just my favourite character from Naruto. And now we've got my favourite fairy, who is Iridesa from the uh, Disney Fairies series. Uh, this one, for some reason, was really hard to get, like, a good reference for, like, an outfit on. I don't really know why. She, like, I think she changes outfit, like, in, like, every movie. Uh, she's never, she's never, like, a main character. She's always just kind of a side character. But I just really love her personality. She's just, I don't know. She has, like, a lot of energy, but she's also, like, really clumsy. She's also, like, a really cool kind of fairy. She's a light fairy. So she can, like, manipulate light waves and she can capture rainbows, you know. I just feel like it's just such an interesting magic power, you know? <laughs> um, I also drew her in a field of sunflowers because in the first movie at least, uh, she's kind of just like seen in a field of sunflowers and like all the other fairies, they all have, uh, they wear like sunflower dresses. Each of them have like different, like sort of plant matter as dresses and light fairies are sunflowers. Apparently that's how that works. Um, but Iridesa is the last one I did on, like, my daily sort of ones. So now we're going to get, like, groups in bulk. Which, you know, is is fun. Um, so for the next lot, we have Jessica Rabbit here. I've drawn Jessica Rabbit on this channel before. I love Jessica Rabbit. I love her colours. I just, I love her just so much. She's She's just, I don't know. She's one of the few characters who's, like, a, a typical, like, sexy character that I don't, like, cringe at. Um, because, like, some of them are just, like, yay, but, I don't know, Jessica Rabbit is just, like, cool, you know? She's just fun. I like her a lot. Uh, here we have anime character number two. Her name is Kagome. She's from Inuyasha. Uh, recently they did a new series with, like, the children um, it's like Boruto, but Inuyasha style. Um, I haven't watched it yet, so I don't know if that is an entirely fair comparison. I don't actually plan on watching it, because I'm just, I don't know, I haven't been watching a lot of anime lately, I've just been reading manga, because I'm that kind of nerd, oh my god. And we've also got Princess Leia, 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 Leia yeah, Star Wars, um, you know, Star Wars. I've never been a huge fan of Star Wars, like, I don't dislike Star Wars, I just... I haven't seen most of them, and I don't really plan on watching them, but, like, they're not bad, it's just, like, it's a lot of effort. It's, like, it's a fandom that, like, if you really want to be involved with it, then you've got to, like, really be involved with it, um, and that sounds like a lot of effort, it's, but, I don't know, Star Wars is, is okay, it's good, it's not bad, it's not, like, amazing, it's good, it's good. Um, don't hate it, don't love it. Um, yeah, these three ladies are such a weird collection. Jessica Rabbit, Kagome, and Leia, you know? Um, anyway, for some reason, I decided to go with, like, this really dynamic pose for Kagome. Uh, she's supposed to also be, like, up against, like, the big sacred tree. Uh, if you've seen Inuyasha, you know what tree I'm talking about. Um... <laughs> But it, it's a, a weird angle, and she's just kind of on, like, a generic sort of star ship. Um, I just sort of used the same sort of design uh, that I did with, like, uh, the Among Us fan arts that I did for Hermitcraft. I just kind of used that sort of same idea. I didn't look at any references for any of the backgrounds, because I'm like, that's too much effort. Um, but hey, you know, what can you do? What can you do? Also, by the way, I was going to mention this and then I got really distracted. The amount of footage that I have in total for this is about five hours and I spent just as long, if not longer, not recording things. So 
this whole whole ordeal took me at least like 10 to 15 hours to complete over the course of many months. I usually only spend like 30 minutes to an hour at a time drawing one particular drawing. Sometimes I could do like marathons where I would draw like multiple drawings, but yeah. Uh, anyway, we are on M and end. We have Marinette from Miraculous Ladybug, uh, which is a quality show. It's one of the few shows that make me aggravated and I still watch it. I just, it's, I love it so much, but I also hate it so much. It's so good and I hate it. <laughs> it is, it's a very weird thing. I feel like the more I can, like, take the piss out of something or make fun of something, like, the more I actually enjoy it, like, unless it's just, like, too good to make fun of, but sometimes I don't want something that's perfect. To be honest, most of the time, I don't want something that's perfectly logical and, like, just simply amazing. Sometimes I just want something simple that, like, it's like, what do you mean nobody can recognize them? They're only wearing a mask. Um, and I've also got, a uh, Nani, na eh, na eh. The oldest sister from Lilo and Stitch. Why can I not say names properly today? It is very unfortunate. Lilo and Stitch is one of uh, my favorite Disney movies. Um, it's it's I just oh, it's just good. All right, it's just good. It makes me cry. It makes me happy. It's fun. They like even the TV show that went along with it isn't too bad. Like it's not like amazing, but. Compared to a lot of other TV shows they made based around, like, movies that they made, it's pretty, it's pretty good. Like, not gonna lie. Um, but yeah, I just have her there. And then we have the next set of characters, which is Olive Oil from Popeye, which is, a uh, old. It's old. Uh, if you don't know what Popeye is, then it's like, X, X, X. Um, we've also got Pippi Longstockings from the animated movie. I know that there's, like, a lot more to Pippi Longstockings than the animated movie, but I've only seen the animated movie. I used to love it when I was little, like, a lot, a lot, a lot. Like, a lot, a lot of lot. We've also got the, uh, the Queen of Hearts from the Disney animated version of Alice in Wonderland, which is not my favourite version of Alice in Wonderland, but it is my favourite version of the Queen of Hearts, just because I love the Queen of Hearts. Um, yeah, I don't, I'm, everybody always asks me if I like, well, everyone who knows I like Alice in Wonderland will ask me if I like the live action ones that came out recently, and I think they're really beautiful, I just, I can't watch them and I don't know why. Like, I don't hate them, I'm just not a huge fan, which it boggles my mind considering how much I love... I just love uh, Alice in Wonderland. Uh, if you're wondering what is my favourite version, it is a version from, I believe it's the 1930s. It's in black and white. It's so creepy because of like, it's, just, it's just so creepy. I've only seen it once and it's been a very long time since I've seen it. But I just remember it freaking me out. Um, and that's why it's my favourite. I love things when it, they can freak me out, like, actually. Um, we've also got Rapunzel from Tangled, the Disney version of Tangled. There's a lot of Disney on this row. Um, uh, you know, Rapunzel, she's not my favourite princess, I will say that. My favourite princess is Tiana, but I, I don't know. I just really wanted to draw Rapunzel. I love her hair, I love her swooshy hair. And I also wanted to draw another animal, because I've only drawn, like, I drew Toto, and then there's also Tiki when I drew Marinette. Um, and then I wanted to draw Pascal. I wanted to try to get, like, an animal on every row, but that didn't work out, because I didn't draw one on the last row. Dang it. Uh, but Ursula also has her two eels, Flotsam and Jetsam. Uh, anyway, we're on to S now, which is Sessa Sally from The Nightmare Before Christmas. I watched that movie again recently. It is a good movie like I love the songs I love the story it's just I always forget how good of a movie it is and then I watch it I'm like it's a good movie um and Sally is my favorite character just because I like 
the normal character. The, well, she's not necessarily normal, but c- compared to a lot of the other characters, she's a lot normal. She thinks a lot more level-headedly, and those characters are usually my favorites in nonsensical shows. Most people find like the quote-unquote normal character to be boring, but I feel like they're the most important characters. Um, because if there's nothing normal, then you don't, like, the most normal character is, how do I explain it? Without the normal character, the weird characters aren't weird. You know what I mean? (laughs) Like, I think that's the best I'm going to explain. Uh, for T, we've got Toru Honda, Honda, Toru Honda from Fruits Basket, which is my favourite shoujo that I've ever read slash watched. Um, I haven't finished watching the new series that they've been doing. Um, I've watched the first episode. I cried um, just because of how much I love it. It was just very, um, what's the word? Overwhelming? It was very overwhelming because of how much I love it. Um, I love, oh, I love it so much. It's such a, it's such a fun, like, little story. And it's got, like, good drama elements as well later on. And it's just, I just, it's just a good time for me to watch it, to be honest. Uh, And if you haven't watched it, I highly recommend it. There's making an anime now that is a lot more faithful to the manga than the original anime which is what made me fall in love with it in the first place though i fell in love with it at a weird time like before it was like popular again and they remade the manga but also way after it had been popular the first time so like the anime was almost like 10 years old at that point (laughs) it's a it's a time Uh, and the last one on the third row you for ursula uh she's just a quality disney villain and I just wanted to draw her, you know, that's it, that's it. She's just, I love her song so much. Um, Out of all of the Disney villains, she's my favourite female villain. Uh, Well, second favourite after Yzma, who is why. But we're on V for Violet Evergarden, Uh, another quality, like, quality anime. Like, if you want to cry, you watch Violet Evergarden, my dude. Like, you will cry. Like, if you don't cry, that's also fine, but I cried, like, every episode. Hello, cars, motorbikes, so loud all the time. This is what happens when you live on a main road. Um, for W, we have Winry Rockbell from Full Metal Alchemist. Full Metal Alchemist... Okay, it's a very weird relationship that I have with Full Metal Alchemist. Like, I've never watched the anime. And that's, like, most people I talk to... Um, have watched the anime, uh, but haven't read the manga, but I've only read the manga, uh, and it was so long ago, because I read it in my, like, high school library, like, it was one of the only manga in my high school library, so, th- that's where I read it, I read Full Metal Alchemist in my high school library, <laughs> and, I don't know, I like Winry, she's a lot of fun, she's very cute, and I just, she's cool. That's it. No, she's just cool. Um, but X, I had a lot of trouble. Like, not only just finding a female character whose name started with X. Because, like, a lot of the time, like, the X characters are men for some reason. Like, there were a lot of, like, Xavier's and such and such. But there wasn't really anything in terms of, like, female names. And I was just, like, asking people just to give me some suggestions to help, like, mix things up. Because I didn't want to just do a bunch of female characters I loved, personally. So, uh, somebody was just like, Xena, Warrior Princess. And I'm like, that's it. That's the one. That's what I'm doing. I've never seen it. I don't know anything about her. Uh, but I'm going to draw her because it was the only X name that uh, came up that was, like, just there, you know? Uh... Yikes. Oh my god. I've been talking for like almost 25 minutes straight. (laughs) Ay, ay, ay. Uh, where are we up to? We're up to Y for Yzma from The Emperor's New Groove, which is my favourite Disney movie, like, overall. I just think it's really funny, and 
that's it. It's just really funny. And it's a good time. I rewatched it the other day. I could just quote that movie all day. My favourite quote is, um, I have been turned into a cow. Can I go home now? That's just my favourite quote. Why? I don't know. It just is. And... Where are we up to? Z. The last letter of the alphabet for Zelda. Um... It was very funny. One of my friends who's like a big fan of Zelda, I was just like, hey, look, look at this. And I'm like, it's like, they're like, why did you draw her for Zed? And I'm like, she's Zelda. And I was like, oh, yeah. I don't know why that was really amusing to me, but it was. Like, they forgot that Zelda's was Zelda. Does that make sense? I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. I'm like, I'm. it's been so long since I've had to ramble for this long. I've... My videos have been really short lately. I haven't had many, like, really long videos. Um, just because, like, I don't want to have just a video that is just my entire process at normal speed. But if you want to see a video like that, you can let uh, me know. Uh, but you may have noticed that because of the layout of this, which is, um, seven, ca uh, characters per row and there's four rows, that there are two extra slots at the end. Um... Could I have set it up in a way where there wouldn't have been two extra slots? Yes. Did I? Uh, no. So what I ended up putting in those two extra spots is I ended up drawing me. Because, I don't know, I'm a cute girl. I wanted to draw me. Uh, <laughs> it's so weird calling myself a cute girl. Uh, so I just drew me and I also have just my Instagram name underneath instead of my name. And then I drew... I wouldn't say my favourite... Char she's like the main character and although I you know what she is my favorite who am I kidding I drew Bisma she is my original character she's like the main character who like the story focuses on and even though like a lot of side character stories are fleshed out she is still the main character and she will always be the main character and that is it that is simply it um, I don't know why I had so much trouble figuring out what I wanted to draw. I just know I wanted to wear my fluffy jacket. Uh, it just took me forever to remember what my fluffy jacket looked like. I actually had to get up and find it for reference. And I thought I'd lost it. And it was a big, it was a big yikes. Um, oh my goodness. But with that being said, uh, that is every letter of the alphabet. If you got, like, lost at any point, me too. Like, I feel like I just went through, like, a big fever dream, like, talking about all of these characters. And the rambling hurts. Like, oh my god. I need some water, my dude. Like, real bad. Uh, I'm not going to listen to this whole video again to make sure that all the audio is fine. Because I just, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. It's just a bad time. Oh, I'm just so tired. It's really late, and I'm doing this really late. It's, um... Yeah, this is what happens when I do things last minute. Especially, it's like, it's such a big video that I have to do this quickly. Otherwise, I will not post it. I don't really have to. I am trying to be, like, nice to myself and not go absolutely crazy, insane with it all. Um... But it's fine, you know, it's fine. Don't worry about it. <sighs> um, what else? I feel like there was one something else I had to say, but I can't think of what it could be. Oh, yeah. For this entire drawing, since the very first Anastasia all the way up to Bisma, I used the same purple, pink, and yellow for the shading, the highlights, and the blush. Like, so... All of them use the exact same colours for the shading. Does it... It makes them all, like, look sort of more unified together. But it also, like, means that there is no lighting variation between any of them. I just wanted something that will look really good all together. And I think this does look good all together. You can... I mean, you can be the judge of that. Um... I put just as much effort into each one of these tiny little girls as I would any of my normal drawings, if not more because I actually did backgrounds and I don't always do backgrounds. Some are more detailed than others, I will admit. Um, and like I even coloured in all of the line art, like I put in way more effort into this, um, in just into this whole drawing than I do normally and I think 
it turned out really well. And I'm really proud of myself that I actually stuck with it. I have been really, really trying to not just, like, let drawings get behind. And I want to, like, try to finish, like, all of them or just as many as possible at all times. Just because it's just so many times like not even just like me just any of my art friends are always just like I've just got all of these drawings and they're just they haven't gotten done I don't know if they'll ever get done and I'm like I don't want to be like that I want to try to finish what I start which is very hard when I start such big projects so often so unfortunately a lot of my projects do go unfinished but it's fine I'm fine it's all good but I've been waiting a while to show this video off and I'm just, I'll just show this whole drawing off to be honest and I really hope you like it. So thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to do the YouTube things like comment, subscribe, you know what they are. Links as always will be in the description down below so please go and check them out because I would greatly appreciate it like you don't understand. Um, I hope you have a fantastic Tuesday wherever you are in the world and if it's not Tuesday when you're watching this I hope you have a fantastic rest of the day so and I will see you all next time which is hopefully next week but you know you never know like you really never know with me sometimes I just simply uh forget um <laughs> with that being said oh, oh I don't have a question for today um Hmm, my question for today is, what would your character lineup be? You don't have to do like all 26, um, but if there are any characters that you could specifically change, what would they be? Like, instead of uh, Hinata for H, would you have preferred Hermione? And that sort of thing. But here is the final drawing. I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye-bye, 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 bye-bye.